Hi everyone, Chad Shoop here, the editor of Automatic Profits Alert. And today I'm going to step out a little bit out of my typical topics, okay? We're not going to talk about an investment per se, but we're going to talk about an investment topic, and that's 529 accounts. Now, if you haven't heard of 529 accounts, they're a great way to help save for your kid's college or your grandkid's college that you can put money aside and let it grow tax-free as long as it's used towards an eligible education expense for college or with the latest tax reform you can even use it for pre-k through 12th grade i believe now before i get into the details of what i want to share with you today i just want to say that i'm not an accountant and i'm not a financial advisor so please do your own research talk to your accountant and figure out which is best for you but when it comes to 529 plans they're you know they're plans in every state so there's a lot of options to choose from now if you're in a state where you know if a 529 gives you a state tax benefit meaning that the money you put into the 529 plan is actually deducted off of your state taxes then you probably want to go with that plan and it's probably a done deal there and that's really all the research that you have to do because that's that's a great benefit and while it's in there it still grows tax-free and you just pay federal tax on the money that you put in but then as it grows it grows tax-free as long as you use it towards a college related college qualified expense and that's usually tuition books room and board as well so you know, if you have a state tax deduction, go ahead and take that. You probably don't have to listen anymore. But if you don't have a state tax deduction, then you want to look into every other state and figure out which one is best for you. Now, I live here in Florida, so they have what's called a prepaid college plan. And this is kind of really what sparked the idea of the video is because this college plan just didn't make any sense to me at all. Okay, so I looked into it. I even called them and asked to make sure. But basically, I would for my daughter, who is four, I would have to pay $30,000 today to lock in her four years of tuition. So that's not too bad, right? $30,000 for four years of college, that's okay. But the tuition is limited to only a few colleges. I mean, it might be a dozen or a little more, but it's limited to a certain amount of colleges and that list can change, but it is the public universities in Florida. But it excludes universities like the University of Miami. So that is not one, which is a high rated college in the area, but they would not be able to go there based on the $30,000. You'd have to pay more, whatever it costs over that. But on that list, I wanted to go ahead and pick the one that is closest to where we live, and that's Florida Atlantic University. So I figured, you know, if they stay close to home, if we did this, this is probably where they would want to go. So I wanted to see how much money I would save, or at least be paying versus what it costs today. So that way I know, like, what I'm locking in today versus what it could grow to in the future. So I did my research. I looked at FAU, figured out how much they cost for tuition today. And for four years today, it's about $22,000 for tuition and fees. So the Florida prepaid made me pay $30,000 for tuition and fees paying it today. So that's $8,000 more that I'm paying today in my money to lock in, you know, a 20, something that's worth $22,000 today. So that makes absolutely no sense. But this plan, it actually came highly recommended from several people that we talked to and know here in Florida. So I know a lot of people are taking advantage of it, but I just think it's a big ripoff and I don't understand why anybody would do it. Now, I get that maybe you're looking at other universities on that list and you're saying, hey, if they go here, it's not that, bad of, not that bad of a deal. And that may be the case. I didn't look at all the ones on the list. I literally just picked the one that probably makes the most sense for where we are going to school, where we live. And if they stay close to home, they could just go there and it'd be easy for them. So that could be like their default that they end up going to. But, you know, so if that ends up being the case, though, um, it makes no sense for me to kind of put my money in there. So instead, I went out and helped and did my research and got into a separate 529 plan. I ended up going with New York's um, just for, you know, because they have lower fees and it seemed kind of easy to navigate on their website. It was actually one of the first ones that came up because after that point, once I wasn't going with the Florida 529 plan, you wanted to look at the fees inside those plans. So once you put your money in a 529 plan, from there you can pick investment options. So I wanted to find some with low fees that also had, uh, you know, a decent selection of options so that way I can go in and move the money from international stocks to U.S. stocks to bonds, gold, or whatever it may be. So I'm still able to go in there and make some choices, but the fees were pretty low. It's just thrown it into a fund and kind of set it and forget it for the most part. And that's the approach that most people will take. But, and I ended up going with New York's. You can go with your states, especially if you have a state tax deduction or if you just feel comfortable going there. But I guess at this point, I would avoid many of these prepaid plans that they have out there. Um, I know they have some for private colleges too. I didn't look into that because I didn't really want to prepay for a private college and then my son not end up going there, which, you know, who knows when, by the time they get 
graduating from high school, they might have scholarships, they might want to go to different universities for a couple of years. Um, you know, we just, it's just too much up in the air for me to go and fork over enough for a, a private college scholarship. But, uh, you know, looking into the Florida prepaid, I just opened my eyes a lot and I just wanted to kind of put this out there. That way, if you are looking for 529 plans for you or for your kids or your grandkids, that you want to do the research, that you want to look out, look into everything that you can. And I mean, and talk to an accountant, talk to a financial advisor and see what they have to say as well. But my point is just don't go with, you know, your state plan or whatever your buddy says. Hey, you know, this was great for us because it might not be great for you depending on your situation and where you think your kids may go to school. Well, that's all for my video today. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe to our page and continue following us. Until next time. This is Chad Shoop with Automatic Profits Alert.